Support rail is not a traditional job for rail. Trains are generally thought to be best suited to long distance journeys. However, growing port congestion along with busy city roads means that rail is being called upon to perform a new task. It is one that requires a different approach if it is to work for the long term. It means one thing, change. Change needs to happen at all levels, from the technology and operating practices of the train set, train control, track pricing, and also the loading and unloading at the port. This means everyone must be involved and committed. Governments, stevedores, rail operators, track owners and customers. It is not enough for one party to try to do it alone. In today's society, the community also make their views known. They come down hard if they feel that governments are not looking after their interests. This means one thing. Doing nothing is not an option. CRT Group's experience with its Melbourne Port Shuttle has already shown that the cargo sprinter technology is ideal for the work. It is smooth and quiet, with minimal emissions. It is taking trucks off-road, cutting emissions and noise. In short, it delivers on government policy to move containers by rail to and from the port. However, transit times are very poor, which means track paths and train control need to be changed. The cargo sprinter runs with two drivers. One reads the paper and one drives the train. This is not sustainable and single driver operation is essential. Insurance is also a showstopper and needs to be addressed or only the existing operators will be able to run on the rails. This virtually spells the end of innovation, as existing operators will do what they do best, run long trains over long distances. Finally, there is the interface with the terminals. Loading and unloading times and terminal charges are critical to the success of the venture. The ability of the terminal operators to practice gate control needs to be monitored closely and government needs to lend a hand if this process does not favour a port rail outcome. In the end, the success of the venture is in many hands. Any one party can lie in its path and virtually stop the process. Yet the voice of today's community will not allow us the luxury of doing nothing. If governments don't act, the community will. The challenge is ahead of us and all parties need to come to the table or port rail will not work.